It's like they can't finish the fourth quarter. Like, are you kidding me? Like, you had the lead early in the fourth quarter, and you lost the lead. Because it was either good defense, but better offense, or is it offensive luck on Dallas and poor defense on the Bucks? I don't know which way to call it. But, yeah, it's – is bad, but um, the star lineup did okay. Well, I will say they did okay is because you know, like look at Chris Middleton's numbers. It's like, and that's why I tell people why they like have an on and off switch, because like Chris Middleton needs to do better. Shoot better. Like all those attempts from the um, mid range and stuff, and you're missing. Just like how? He, Bilton had 14 points, eight rebounds, two or four from three. That's good. But six to 27 from the field. Like, seriously. It's like, it was a good game, but it was that fourth quarter that just failed them. It was back and forth. How can they fail in the fourth quarter and it seems like they can't hit anything? Like, seriously. Bobby Portis, 20 points. 14 rebounds, two assists, and one steal. Yeah, over 30 minutes. And from from being on the you know, bench and now in the starting lineup until Giannis get back, he's been doing – he's been doing good as of late. Rick Lopez with 16 points, one steal – and four rebounds, two or three from three, seven to 11 from the field. So he's doing his part. Probably, he probably could score, score a little bit more, but but Lopez did his part. Dante Tinzo led the team with 22 points, six rebounds, two assists and two steals. And six to 10 from three, which is a good number. 7 to 13 from the field, which is a good number, too. But, like, he like he was hitting shots when it count. But it was just like, how? Like, Drew, even Drew Holiday didn't even do that good. Only 13 points, three assists, five rebounds. One to four from three and six to sixteen from the field. So him and Milton had like horrible shooting nights. It's like it's like I said, like like a while back. Like I trust the Bucks bench. It's just hard to trust like them the plan without Giannis. Now that's you know the downfall of that. That seems like they can't do any good without Giannis. Like overall, this road trip is like they were three and three. Yeah, like Ben Forbes didn't do great. Pat Conton didn't do great. Only with two of five, but he did good in rebounding and got a couple of steals. Tenas is with the defensive end, so he was doing okay. But the scoring was not good enough. Jeff T was six. Maybe he could have played a little bit more. He probably would have got something going. Only won the three from the field.
an actual Tupan, he didn't play that much, or Manati Dikai only played like a minute. Just horrible. Like, like the look at the front court. Ten to twenty one from the three. Matthew Keebler, twelve points and five rebounds and two steals. Killed them with four or seven from three. Same thing with Chris Chris Porzingis. Although they didn't play him that much in the um, fourth, but they decided to bring him in in the kind of like in the middle of it and just started hitting 26 points, 17 rebounds, and two blocks. Like I say, 47 from three and 10 or 20 from the field. And it seems like they just couldn't stop him. Like, Like with Josh Richardson, 14 points, five rebounds, four assists, two steals, and one block. But didn't hit any threes. Look at Donjic, 27 points, nine rebounds, nine assists, nearly a triple double, and one block. Three to eight from three, 11 to 20 from the field. And if you can look at their bench, their bench did pretty damn good. Tim Hardaway with Junior with 12 points, three assists, two six from three, although that was kind of horrible, but overall four eleven from the field. Um why Powell. At eight points and four rebounds and two steals and one block. Nicole Nelly was perfect from from the field, only two of two, but they was end up being threes. It's just like they didn't do the um God, what's that called it? They didn't do the zone. I don't know why that the Bucks didn't do a zone. I don't know why. Because doing the zone would have really helped them. So, yeah, unbelievable. That they didn't use the zone. They was just still doing it like the man-to-man, -man, not the zone. And it's like, why, how did... Brooke ended up guarding Luka Doncic. How did that happen? It just, I don't know what it was. It just seemed like it just wasn't their night. Final score was 116 to 101 Dallas. They split the season series. But If they lose three in a row, I'm gonna lose my mind. They can't lose to Charlotte tomorrow. And Giannis should be back. Like, is the knee injury, is that serious? Or are they really just trying to rest them and see how they do without him? So if that's their plan to see how they do without him, it's not working. Like Chris Milton is an all star, but he didn't make the all star team this year. But he's got it on the all switch. I did say this about a certain person that had the on the all switch for a long time, and that was Brandon Jenkins. Like he's hot one day and cold the next. But with like with the NBA, you got to be hot all the time. If you had like two or three games that you you'd be cold out uh, the whole season, that's one thing. But like 
just seriously, it's just horrible. Yeah, and Drew Holiday too. Like he had like a two week that he was doing good, and like a week that he was doing good, and it was just Tuesday's game and today's game. Just like, what happened? Oh, I'm looking to see if it's true. I'm not finding anything on any of the major news and that's because places yet. Yeah. But that was posted 30 minutes ago. Okay. Uh, if he is it with his Aaliyah. Right. That was his, his everything, let's be perfectly honest. Right. Well, more bad news. If you like music like I do. Um, DMX, my favorite rapper, has passed, according to like sources. But isn't they didn't make it official yet? But somebody put it out there that he had passed. So take it as you will. If he did, then sucks. But. Well, I have like. I think I have all his albums. Don't have any of the mixtapes, but I do have all his albums. But um, anyways, hopefully they do better with Charlotte tomorrow, and they have Giannis back, and maybe PJ Tucker too. So, because his presence was really missed. And imagine if they would have had J.J. Reddick playing. It would have been all over. But the final score, 116 to 101, Dallas. But I got to do better. I don't want to wear this hat tomorrow. I'm already sweating in it already. So, Bucks, you got to do better. Um, check out wrestlingfanspeakout.weebly.com. I know I got an update on the Bucks page, but um, if you guys know any like news and stuff or articles or what, if it's even rumors that's out there, put them on the Real Milwaukee Bucks group on Facebook, and I'll put it on the um, website. Um, I'm gonna update the Bucks page tonight. Just talk about a little bit of this game, or if they post it on there or whatever. Um, also, if you like this video, please give it a like. Um, we're, we got a giveaway going on. Um, if, if we get to like 150 subscribers, I will do a separate video to announce the winner of this Iron Hammer Fungo Pop. So we're very close. We're like at 145, so we're, we're getting there. And um, for to get like 200 subscribers, I will announce the winner of the Milwaukee Brewers mask and the Milwaukee Brewers t-shirt. So 150 subscribers are in Hammer Fungo Pop, 200 subscribers, Brewers mask and t-shirt. And please support this channel. And until the next video, everybody, have a good night. I'm mean, gonna have a good night, <laughs> and hopefully the Bucks will win tomorrow.